Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the LTE module into our OpenWRT routers and after that we will be creating our network interface and set up the APN and everything to have a working internet connection. For this tutorial, I will be using the EC25 from Cactel or whatever and this module support uh, LTE Cat4 which is 150 Mbps downlink and 50 Mbps uplink and it supports most of the TDD uh, and the FDD banks. We also need the router ball of course this is the DR4029 from Qualys and beside this we have the sim card this is the sim card from Unify let's just install the module to the router and connect all the cable together before we proceed as you can see on my DR4029 I have a connector for the LTE module just in case you are using the x86 computer or your router doesn't have a connection for the mini PCIe then you can always purchase a USB to mini PCIe plus the SIM card and you can plug it to the USB port of the router or the PC and have a working LTE module so just like what I'm showing right now When it comes to data connection, we have different modes. For example, you have the PPP mode, which is an old school that is used by the 2Gs and the 3G. And beside that, we have the QMI and the MBIM or NCM, which is the modern way of internet connections for LTE. And for this tutorial, we will be using the QMI mode, which is also supported by this LTE module. All right, so what is the reparation we have so we have install open little rt and then install this package okay so first of all let me establish the connection to the routers root 192 sorry ssh root at 192.168.29.1 because i have changed the lan ip Right, so this is our board. If you haven't installed the packet, you can run this OPKG update to update the packet database and then yeah, copy all of them and then run one by one to have all the package and all the driver installed. Okay, and also we also need to install this line as well. So basically, you just need to copy this one and then right click paste here. And then yeah, just repeat until we finish all the process. And after you done install all the package, then we can just reboot. But in my case, my firmware bill have this package included, so I don't need to install it. In your case, you may need to install this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then that's it. After you have properly inserted the module to the router, you should be able to see the CDC-WDM device on your router. So let's navigate to this one and check it. All right, cool. So we have this device, slash CDC-WDM0. Or you can do a DMHG and then RAF and then USB and then you will see some of the Qualcomm USB modem all right so we also have the QMI WWAN and then we have some of the logs ongoing right here TTY RAF 
right so if you run this command you can see that we have a different interface so these are the several interface of the modem in which we can communicate with them okay so before we proceed further let's have a check if the modem makes successfully working or not okay so in order to do that we will need a minicom application or any of the packet that you want but in my case i will run minicom and then slash s right so we need to specify the serial port and on this qtech ec25 the modem is dev slash tti usb3 but it may be different on your case so you need to try maybe tti usb1 or 2 or 3 until you got the correct response but we are good and i don't need to change it right so the first command is 80 to say hello to the modem and after that 80 plus cb os all right so this command is used to query the network operators of the modem right now and we can see that it is unified so let's do an 80 plus query network info L we are on tdd lte band 40 that the basic thing we need and now let's just go to our lucy page and then have a check okay so let's navigate to network interfaces and then on the network interfaces we are going to create our new network interface for the 4g okay so the name we just give it something let's say 4g and then on the protocol select qim cellular hit create interface and then you need to select the modem device so this will be our modem the cdc dash wdm0 that we just got earlier fill in the apn name and the authorization from your network operator so unify for unify they are mostly running their service on ipv4 so we don't need ipv6 and if you are using any other network that they requires an PAP or CHAP authorization, then you need to specify the, the username and the password. But in my case, it is none. And then let's go to the firewall set thing and then assign it to the one zone. Okay, click save and then save and apply. And as you can see, we have the RX and TX rays ongoing, so we know that it is working. And let's have a check on this 4G-4. is it a virtual dynamic interface created by the router. And this is the IP address we receive from the internet service provider from the 4G network operator. So it is 10.99.17.183, sorry, 183, okay, whatever and now we should be able to read the internet okay, so let's try to ping google.com right it's good and then let's run a speed test this is unified and then let's see It is right now 4 p.m. and the speed is not really good at this time but we can see that the 4G modem is doing well and yep time does ease and let me just show you the time currently right it's 16.6 .6. right so the speed is not fast but it's confirmed that the new solution is working fine all right so basically that's all and uh, before we end the video, let me just show you one more thing. Let's uh, just establish the connection to our modem via the router, minicom, and then let's query the manufacturer. So 80 plus CGMI, sorry, 80 plus CGMI. We see that the manufacturer is Tectels or whatever. And how about the model? It's 80 plus CGMM. And this is EC25. 
all right so guy this is open david rt and the ec24 module from cactus and we have a working 4g connection on the qim mode so basically that's all about this video and if you have any questions or any point not clear you can always raise a question on the comment section and i will try all my best to go to all of it and answer them one by one and please like share and subscribe to the channel to support me and support the channel as well thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye um and just before we end the video this is the minicom and the minicom is the application to communicate with all the zero connection inside the open rt router okay and in order to assist you need to press ctrl and a and then q and then leave without reset yes and that's it see ya bye bye